Understanding Advanced Prostate Cancer You may have a lot going through your head when you learn you have advanced prostate cancer or that your prostate cancer has spread. Different types of treatments, possible side effects, what your future could look like. It can be confusing. Learning more about your cancer and treatment options can help clear things up. If you are diagnosed with advanced prostate cancer, your doctor will tell you which type you have and explain what it means. One type, called locally advanced prostate cancer, is cancer that has spread outside of the prostate to nearby parts of the body, like the seminal vesicles, bladder, and rectum. Another type of advanced prostate cancer is called metastatic prostate cancer. This means that the cancer has spread from the prostate to parts of the body that are farther away from the prostate, such as the lymph nodes or bones. The treatment you receive will depend on your overall health, whether you have locally advanced or metastatic prostate cancer, and any earlier treatment you may have received. Treatment for locally advanced prostate cancer can include surgery, radiation therapy, and hormone therapy. For newly diagnosed metastatic cancer, hormone therapy is the main treatment option. So what is hormone therapy? For prostate cancer to grow and spread, it needs male hormones. The main hormone is testosterone. Hormone therapy deprives the prostate cancer of testosterone to slow down or stop its growth. Hormone therapy is used to treat prostate cancer in one of two ways. The most common way is to take medicines that stop the body from making testosterone or that block the effects of testosterone. These medicines can be injections or implants to stop your testicles from making testosterone. They can also be pills that stop the body from making testosterone or prevent cancer cells from using testosterone to grow. The second way is to have surgery to remove your testicles where the male hormones are made. However, this form of treatment is not common. If you have metastatic prostate cancer, your healthcare team may recommend hormone therapy as well as chemotherapy. If you and your healthcare team decide that hormone therapy is the right treatment for you, you may have some side effects. These can include low sex drive, difficulty getting and keeping an erection, hot flashes, mood swings, and bone weakness. Your doctor will recommend that you take calcium and vitamin D to help keep your bones strong. If the prostate cancer is metastatic and you are taking chemotherapy alongside hormone therapy, you may have additional side effects, including nausea, hair loss, and low blood cell counts, which may make it difficult for you to fight infections. Remember, not everyone will have these side effects. Your healthcare team may be able to help you control side effects and some may go away when treatment is finished. Your healthcare team will continue to measure the level of prostate-specific antigen, PSA, to monitor how well the treatment is working. On your next visit, you can talk to your team about how you can reduce side effects. You may ask about the benefits and risks of taking hormone therapy continuously or starting and stopping treatment called intermittent hormone therapy. You can also visit cancer.ca for more information and support. You can take charge of prostate cancer by knowing about the different treatment options and their possible side effects. Then you can decide what's best for you.